Stephanie Mullen here to quickly show you how to use the overlay effects from the Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox in Adobe Premiere. Now before I start, let me say really quick that all Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox effects are ProRes and can be read by both Mac and PCs. If you are working on a PC, check out the description below for a link to download the free ProRes codec. The installation is simple and you will be up and running in no time. Alright, let's jump over to Premiere. Now as you can see, I already have some footage in my timeline, right here. But we want to go ahead and add an effect, and to do that it's really simple. The first thing we have to do is import it. So I want to click over here where my bin is, I'm going to double click on overlays, and all I want to do is right click here, go down to import, and then I want to find wherever I'm storing my effects. Mine are right here, I'm going to click on the effect, we're going to do the beauty light, and click import. And what you're going to see is there's going to be one file that doesn't import, and that's the PDF. The PDF is there for you to look at to see if you want to, like, a really quick snapshot of what the effect looks like. So maybe you're looking for a color or a particular style. You can find that in the PDF. So go check that out if you like. We're going to say OK. I'm going to close this out, and I want to look over here in my Beauty Light files. Now, to put it on the timeline is really simple. You just take it from your bin right here, drag it over here, and you're done. So, so far so good. Now all we have to do is get rid of that black, right? We just want the light to show through, so all to do that, I'm going to click on the effect. I'm going to go up here to the effect controls, twirl down opacity, then go from blend mode, I'm going to change it from normal to screen. And I'm going to roll this back and play it. And there you go. There's the beauty light effect over top of our footage, and it looks fantastic. Lovely. And you can do this with any of Rampant's overlays, so if you wanted to do bokeh, for instance, Let's go and replace that. I'm just going to hold down Option, replace it like that, and roll. There you go. So now you've got the bokeh over top. Pretty simple. And oh, let's try some distortion. Go down to Screen Damage. I'm going to Option, replace that clip. And there you go. Got some distortion over there. That looks kind of strange. Let's go. Let's try a screen effect maybe. Maybe that would work better. All right, whoa, that looks really, uh, that's really uh, too dark for what I'm doing. So to change that's really simple. Click on your effect, go up to your opacity and just scroll that back. So there, now you have a nice screen effect going on on your video, pretty cool. All right, so that's all you have to do with the overlays is just change the blend mode. Now, if you happen to get a blend, uh, uh, overlay or an effect that's black on white, what you have to do with that is a little bit different. So you drag that to your timeline. And you'll see this is white on black right there. Now to we want to keep the black and we want to remove the white. To do that, you're going to click on your clip, go back to opacity, and you're going to change it from normal to multiply. That's how you remove the white. And there you go. Now you have a film grain look, which looks great. And you can try any of these and we can replace That one's really subtle, but there's a little bit of grain in there. And that's how easy, easy it is. So simple. So import, drag to your timeline, change the blend mode, and you are done. And that's how you do all the overlay effects. If you're interested in more Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox tutorials, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and we will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.